Hello, my name is Paul Anthony from Bespoke Unit. I'm Rob Gagne with Boveda. And Rob's joining us today to take a closer look at the Bovida Butter, which is their Bluetooth enabled digital hygrometer. So Rob, we all know how important it is to calibrate a sensor. You'll see the uh, the video above me and uh, you know it's critical for that baseline. So what is the uh, the solution that um, you guys at Bovida have come up with? We have, we've come up with uh, actually partnering with another company to come up with a digital hygrometer that links to your phone. And ultimately we know Boveda obviously is probably the most precise humidity control uh, unit out on the market. Even if I didn't work for them, the science doesn't lie. But um, sometimes, you know, you just, you want to know what's going on inside that humidor. And this is a great tool to do that because it goes right on your phone. Especially, I feel like wooden humidors, um, yeah. it's critical for because there is definitely going to be moisture exchange at the seams. Um, these yeah. aren't airtight units, um, especially some of these travel humidors, they have some issues with seals, especially um, they're only, you know, the $20, $30 range. So we can't always trust, you know, what we're putting in there from a Bavita perspective. Um, because the container may be flawed to sell. So, right. I mean, uh, you want to explain to people kind of the basic functionality of the Bovida and how to kind of set one up initially? Exactly. So, I mean, first and foremost, you just go onto your smartphone. If you have an Android or, or a iPhone, you can go and download it from the App Store. But as soon as you get in there, the best part about it is just you simply set up an account. Uh, I think it's name, email address, and password. And then as soon as that is done, you go ahead and set up your butler right to your uh, phone. So is there, you, is there is there an ongoing cost to this account? There is not. Okay. So the, the actually the price point is great. It's twenty dollars. It comes with the calibration kit. This is the Boveda one step calibration. It's going to come with that. That's going to probably be the first thing that you do after you've downloaded your Butler. You'll go ahead and go into the settings part of it, and you can change the the picture. You can take a picture of your actual humidor. You can name it. You can say what type of cigars, how many you can hold. You can even make notes as to what cigars are in there. Like, hey, I have uh, Opus X and um, some other rare cigars, or I have all my New World cigars, or I have all my Old World cigars inside here. And then if you... Okay, so I was just gonna say with the, uh, sorry for that big tart, the interjection, but uh, with the uh, calibration kit, there's a 75% Avita pack in there. And uh, kind of, can you explain why that's important for the the tolerance and why we're using that particular RH? It's, you know, you're not, you're not using a 65 pack or a 69 pack. Why is there, you know, specifically a 75 yeah. in there? Well, the 75% is specifically because it's one type of salt. Most of our other um, mixtures are different blends of salt, so the accuracy of that relative humidity goes down a little bit by one percent. Okay. Um, the 75% and the 32% are about as accurate as 0.03%. So I personally use the two point calibration um, just because I'm kind of a geek like that. Yeah. <laughs> but it takes a little bit longer. It's like a 48 hour process. So, yeah. you know, jump in the gun a little bit, you put your sensor in there, calibrate for 24 hours. And then with the two point system, you do it in a 32 pack, as you said, uh, and then you kind of get the lowest uh, tolerance possible. Sure. Um, but yeah, sorry, please continue. No, sorry. and the tolerance when you do the two-point calibration is I think it's about 1.8% um, degree of variance. And then with a single-point calibration, it's about 2.4%. Okay, so you pick up about 0.6%. Yeah. Percent. But if you're only doing it every six months, for me, the additional step is worthwhile just for that kind of peace of mind. Right, yeah. And once you have that done, I mean, as soon as you set up your sensor or, or your butler, I should say, you, you go into the settings wheel up at the top and then you can scroll down and click on calibrate. Once you click on that calibrate, you can do one step or two point calibration. Again, every butler is gonna come with the 75%. And then after 24 hours, you just come back to the actual app, reopen it, it'll re kind of sync up, tell the sensor that it's now completed with calibration. And this is the fun part. Now that you've got your butler calibrated, you can go ahead and go back into the settings section and you can actually set temperature alerts. So you can set a high end and a low end on the temperature scale. And then you can say calculate over average. So it will only notify you over a six hour average. So if the temperature fell out of your range for more than the six hour average, then it's gonna notify you. How often is the, uh, the sensor pinging the app? Every hour. Okay. So every hour 
You can also set those same limits for the humidity. So you can do a high end and a low end. And then you, once you go back to the main dashboard of the Butler, you can click through and see the fact that there's some rings on the outside and the inside that are showing you your limits of where you wanna be. The other nice feature that I love about this because I end up traveling a little bit more um, and I have a few storage devices that <laughs> I don't always check all the time. So it's nice to be able to go into the history down at the bottom tab, which is just a bar graph image. And you can go ahead and see that um, you'll get daily. Well, obviously it records every hour, but you can, sp you can spread that out into daily recordings where the relative humidity level has been at. And you can go to monthly. So now you can get a really good view of what's going on monthly. Am I still at the same level I started out at or am I a little bit higher? So it's really, really in depth, hourly, daily, monthly, you know exactly what's going on with that hygrometer. I mean, for me, no matter whether I'm using, you know, the Bevita Butler or some of the other digital hygrometers that we've tested here on this channel, uh, one of the best features is you don't actually have to open yeah. your humidor. So whether it's a wooden humidor, whether it's your wine door, whether, you know, it's a Bevita humidor pack or it's one of you know, my large Tupperware containers, I have, you know, 20, 30 boxes in. I don't have to, you know, open up, you know, those containers. I could have a sensor on the bottom and a sensor at the top and, you know, I can leave that environment untouched, exactly. you know, and then go and check on the cigars without disrupting that um, particular RH environment. So, yeah. which is, uh, again, over, you know, completely inaccurate, um, you know, analog hygrometers um, through to some of the digital ones that are uncalibratable you know, this offers, you know, a lot more accuracy, like the ability to calibrate and also the ability to kind of check without having to check and look in on exactly. it. Exactly. So. Even though that, I mean, after you calibrate this Butler, it's about as accurate as it's going to get, but you still need to take into effect that you're going to be about two to four points off possibly. So I don't get too scared if my hygrometer, if, especially if I'm reading you know with the 69 or 72 if i'm within five points of the boba pack that i'm storing with i'm like i'm perfect right in the area that i want to be and i'm not worried about it um, and then i do recalibrate the hygrometer about every three to six months just to make sure it's accurate maintain it um, it's probably a little excessive but I, I do like to do that and just make sure things are on point well do you line that up with your kind of seasonal yeah. Check on the humidor. Yeah, I'll line it up with what I'm doing seasonally. If I'm changing the Boveda packs because it's winter time to a higher RH level, I'll go ahead and just kind of redo everything. With my wood humidors, I go ahead and re-season my wood humidors by taking all the cigars out, re-seasoning them with the Boveda 84% packs. I mean, it's just kind of a process. It's what you have to do if you're going to you know, store cigars and, and be an aficionado. Okay, great. Well, First of all, all of us here at Bespoke Unit would like to thank you for your time in coming to explain the uh, the Bevita Butler a little bit more to us. Uh, you can find links below on uh, you know where to buy the Bevita Butler as well as other Bevita products, as well as seeing all of the Bespoke Unit uh, cigar resources here on YouTube and as well at bespokeunit.com forward slash cigars. As always, we really welcome your comments or questions below about this video or any other things we have on the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. So from me, Paul Anthony of Bespoke Unit, until next time, goodbye. Rob Gagne with Bovida, thanks for checking out the Butler.